Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've built this WooCommerce shop site here. Um, this is part of a course we did online if you want to take the course. I've got a discount coupon below this video if you want to learn how to build this particular site. We used a, a free template and a free WordPress build to build this site here. It's a clothing store with all kind of different things and accessories and bits and pieces. What we're going to do in this series of video, we're going to install a plugin called Elementor, which will allow us to build extra pages. We've got plenty of pages on here. But what it's going to do is allow us to build real custom style pages. So follow along with this series and we'll show you how to build some great things using the Elementor plugin. OK, guys, let's continue on today. Let's add a little image carousel down here to showcase some products. So I'm going to edit with Elementor. I've already got mine open, but if you haven't, just click on the button that says edit with Elementor. So I've got mine open here. Let's go down to where we want to edit. And you'll see these two similar looking rows here. Remember, this one is going to show on desktops. And this one below is only going to show on tablet and mobile versions. OK, so let's add another section. Hit the little red button here. Let's give it, say, two columns. And in this first column, let's have an image carousel. So let's click on our little matrix of square dots up here and go down and there's the carousel module just gonna left click hold it down and pull it over to where we want it which is right there okay well let's add some images all you have to do is click on it if you've not I'm gonna hit add images um, I guess we'll use the same images that we've been using say one two three four don't know if there's anything else I really want to put on there I guess we can put that one on there okay let's put those in there so we've got five images you can simply left click and drag them and move them around to where you want them by doing that and you can add different images you can reverse the order if you want to but I'm happy with that, so I'm going to insert in the gallery. And as you can see, it's popped up there, and it's actually it's got a slideshow, and it's showing three of the images at once, which is pretty cool. But that's not exactly what I want there. I think I'd rather just have a, a single image that's rotating like that. I don't think I want the navigation buttons. So let's have a look here. Image size. I want a bigger image size. Slides to show. I only want it to show one, so one slide. There we go. There's one slide. I want it to be bigger than that. I think 300 by 300 would be fine. Experiment with what works for you. I think that's going to work fine for me. Don't want the arrows or dots, so I'm going to turn those off. None. Now link, do I want it to link to something? I guess I could have it to link to our sale items, perhaps. So have we got a sale items thing up here? I'm sure we do. It's probably that button down below as well on sale. Let's copy this link address here. Copy link address. And paste it in here. There we go. You can actually take the URL off the front if you want to. I'm just going to leave it there for convenience. So when they click on that, it'll take them to the sale items, which is fine. So we've got one image. It's the size we want. It's auto scrolling. And do I want it to slide like that? Or do I want it to sort of fade? Don't know. I'll decide that in a minute. I think I'd probably like it to fade. 
don't want a caption additional options pause on hover no we'll keep it going autoplay yes speed 5000 milliseconds which is five seconds i think that's a bit too long i'm going to change that to 3000 which will be three seconds infinite loop which means it just keeps going and going which is fine effect slide i think i want to fade which is usually the other option and it's exactly that here and animations fee a uh, speed how long does it actually take to fade in well it's half a second there well yeah, it works for me you could slow it down a bit make that seven and seven hundred and fifty milliseconds There we go. The fade's taking a bit longer. You could give it even more if you wanted to. Give people time to sort of see it fading in. Let's have a look at that. So that'll take about a second. I think that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Everything's good to go there. We've got the size we want. Style-wise don't want borders on the image if you had a different color my images have got the same background as my section so I really don't want a border around them if you had different color ones it might be a good idea to put a border around them but I don't need that for this particular example and in the advanced I don't think I need any more padding top and bottom because this image has got a bit of padding there uh, or margin I want it to be flush up against the one up top z index it's fine where it is there's nothing hidden behind it don't need to give it a css id or a class id we'll use ids later on perhaps to anchor a section so we can navigate to it with a button uh, don't need to give it a class because i don't need any custom styles you've got all kind of emotion motion effects you can add to it fading in and stuff like that don't want a background because as, as i said the the background is perfect for what we've got the images don't want a border don't need custom positioning responsive wise I want it to show on all so that's fine it's going to show on all devices and custom CSS this is only available in the pro version you can give it a CSS class and just write custom CSS to the customizer but with the pro version you can actually just put the CSS in here so you can do both with the free version there's just a, a quicker option with the pro version so i'm pretty happy with that that'll do for our little carousel for this little video so let's update and preview what we've got let's go down to where we were and there's our little image carousel on its own it doesn't look like much but Perhaps we'll put some text beside it next time or a star rating or something like that or a call to action button. But that's a handy little thing. You can also do full width sliders. Perhaps we'll do one of those a bit later on. But that'll do for this video today. Simple way to add a little slideshow to your WordPress site using the Elementor here. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our youtube channel if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our youtube subscribers so do check it out once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day